I'd like to take his his face off. Yes. Come baby. Enjoy this great game. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Humbaby Baseball Channel. And what's going on with Major League Baseball? What's with the blank faces that they're giving all the players? And not only that, but you, when you click on the players, you try to find out more information, they are keeping it absolutely minimal. At least that's what it seems like. You want to check out some highlights? Nuh-uh. None to be found. Not, not at all. Not online. If you click on, usually you click on one of these guys and you'll see some video highlights. Here, you got nothing. We do have the stats. I mean, you have some charts and things like that, some transactions, some basic information, but uh, no video highlights at all. And when you start looking at the promotional days, they won't even mention the players' names. For example, here on the 30th for the Cardinals, Cardinals third baseman, Bobblehead. Say my name. And then you want to scroll to the top to see who the heck this is, right? Let's go check out the roster, see who that is. Coaches, front office, broadcasters, minor league affiliates. That's your <laughs> that's your options when you go up to a roster. You actually have to click on roster to get to the roster, but there's no, you know, normally underneath here you're going to have like 40 man. You're going to have some options. Not here. And then you go down, who's their third baseman? Oh, again, a bunch of no faces and it just says infielders. So you just have to be smart enough or a big enough baseball fan to know that it's probably going to be Nolan Arenado. But, you know, this is just absolutely crazy. Even MLB Network and, and MLB.com or any kind of media related to MLB officially in any kind of official capacity, they won't even mention the players' names. It's like they don't exist. Erased from existence. So after some research, this is the company right here, the law firm, Pro, I, I don't know how to say it, Pro Scour? Pro Scour, this is the you know, official law firm that is representing right now Major League Baseball and have, have apparently advised them to do what they're doing. But it is not like an actual law. I mean, they can continue to put the players' faces if they wanted to. It's not against the law or anything like that. I know that right now there's a lockout, but, I mean, I can put the players' faces on my website, on humbabybaseball.com, and it's not, and I have no official relationship with the players at all, of course. So, it certainly seems like it wouldn't be against the law. But per David Waldstein, MLB reached out to explain that it took down the photos of players on legal advice and it was not intended to punish players. Per a spokesman, every action we are taking is at the advice of legal counsel per the National Labor Relations Act. And Commissioner Rob Manfred confirmed that it is a legal issue. When he was asked about it, whether or not it was a legal issue, he said it is. But legal experts who spoke to The Athletic found it difficult to confidently identify MLB and Proskauer's potential legal theory. Dave Leach, a professional uh, at Brooklyn Law School and former regional director for the National Labor Relations Board. So this guy has experience. He should have plenty of knowledge. He said, I can't think of anything. I've never seen a case which had similar facts. I was there for 45 years, so I saw a good number of cases at the board. But I'm wondering something. If it is some kind of law, okay, they're afraid to get sued or something for using the player's likeness. Okay, they're afraid to get sued for putting, you know, their faces, you know, and, and uh, you know, showing highlights of them. Obviously, that means they wouldn't actually sell merchandise. I mean, come on. They wouldn't actually sell merchandise. So let's go check out j jerseys right here. I mean, surely not. Surely they couldn't sell merchandise and make actual profit off these players in this type of a situation. Because actually having their photos on the website doesn't really make profit, you know, directly. Um, oh, what do we have here? Brandon Crawford, get it by Christmas. Number 35 jersey. Oh, here's one that you can actually put whatever you want. Select player. Oh, surely it won't have a list of the players there, except Jose Alvarez, Caleb Berger, Joey Bart, Tyler Beatty, Kervin Castro, Brandon Crawford, Alex Dickerson. You can buy any jersey you want with a major league, any major league baseball player's name on the back. Evan Longoria. Maybe I'll pick up an Evan Longoria jersey today. Extra large. Add to cart. Only 150 bucks. Not too shabby. Add to cart. Price locked in, baby. No issues. No issues. Ships free. I can even apply a coupon code. 
So ultimately, what's going on here with Major League Baseball? Is this really a legal issue? I've done some digging and read some articles, and, and it looks like it's not really a legal issue. It's more of a tactical issue, and the NBA did the same thing during one of their lockouts. And there's been varying reports. You know, the NHL had some lockouts in the Internet era, and, you know, they're there were still faces on their website at the time from what I've been able to find out. Not really 100% on that, but actually, right now, there's obviously no lockout going on in NHL, so we have the beautiful uh, faces of the players here. But let's go back to the famous internet time machine and we know it was late 2012, mid, uh, I believe it was, let's see, click on 2012, it was mid-September. So we go to October, there's definitely a lockout in October. So we'll just click on a day in October 17th, 2012. We are in our time machine now. Back in 2012, will they have pictures of the players? Here we are with the old website back in the day. We click on players and the list of players by letter. Click on A, for example. And let's try to click on someone. This is a, a Senna Acolaste. This is a former Sharks prospect. I don't think he actually made it to the, to the NHL. Maybe he did. I'm not sure. But there he is. Uh, that's an example. Let's click on uh, John Albert. There he is, John Albert faces. Let's go to someone who we know is a big time NHL player and see if they got uh, his picture. So we'll go to K. I went to the K's just to check out someone who we know is a big time NHL player like Duncan Keith. Will they have his picture? And indeed, there he is, Duncan Keith of the Blackhawks. And it's a big time player right here. So clearly they had the pictures in the NHL. Boom, Craig Adams, right wing, Pittsburgh Penguins. So yeah, this is a internet time machine, late 2012 during the lockout, just to show that it's not legally required to remove their names and faces. And if it were, then they certainly couldn't sell merch. And I'm about to buy me an Evan Longoria jersey. I'm not really gonna buy it, but I'm just saying, if I wanted to, I could. $149.99. And it's ready to go. Evan Longoria or anyone you want on the team or in Major League Baseball, you can get their jersey. They will take your money, no doubt about it. They will profit off the players, but they won't show the players' faces. It's, to me, a, 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 a I don't think it's a smart decision. It's only making the players come together more by changing all their Twitter profiles. Such as Alex Wood over here, you can see this is just bringing the players together. They're all changing their avatar, their, their photos to this blank face because that's what MLB considers them, a bunch of blank faces. And I don't think it's a good look for MLB, but I think it's a tactical decision. And I think they're just they're, they're, that just shows how bad relations are right now. And I'm not too, I'm not too optimistic that they're going to figure this thing out. But I don't think it's a legal thing. It's not legally required. If it is then uh, how can they sell merch and profit off the players' names? Are names somehow okay to profit off of, but you can't show their faces? I mean, no, it doesn't make a lot of sense to me, and it doesn't make a sense to a lot of lawyers and people who have practiced in this area of law for a long time. So don't take my word for it, because I don't know crap, and I admit that. But from the research I, I've done, I, it looks to me like that uh, MLB is just being very petty here, and uh, this is part of their strategy. So... Um, we'll have to wait and see, but uh, by the way, Alex Wood says that why does it matter if you were tied to steroids officially or not? There are certainly guys already in the Hall of Fame that took steroids. It doesn't take a genius to see that Barry Bonds should be in the Hall of Fame, and I really don't think there's an argument to keep him out in my humble opinion. So we just want to finish the video on that little tweet from Alex Wood. Nothing to do with the topic that I'm talking about today, but I agree with Alex Wood on that. So I'm going to give him a big heart. You guys have a fantastic day. Hit that thumbs up button. Hit that subscribe button. Let me know what you think of this lockout and the faceless players. And what is MLB doing? What are they trying to prove right now? I don't know what you're trying to prove, but you're proving it. Have a good one. We will talk to you all next time. See ya. When the Giants come to town, it's bye-bye, baby. Every time the chips are down. Bye-bye, baby. History's in the making at Oracle Park.